Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on change of variables polar coordinates part 3. In the lecture 1, we have seen the basics on change of variables and we have solved the problem on the circle. In the second lecture, we have learned how to solve the problem which comes from 0 to infinity. Both the limits are from 0 to infinity. And in today's lecture, we are going to see some different problems. Let us go into the session. Change into polar coordinates and then we have to find the value. As I said, see this integral is very tough. Like when you integrate with respect to y and substituting the limit. So, if you go by polar coordinate, there might be a chance that we can solve the problem in a simpler way. So, before going to that, we can check the order. We have dy here. The limits are in terms of x and constant. So, it is in the correct order. As usual, we take this as step 1. My step 1 gets over. Next, step 2, immediately you have to write polar coordinates because we are changing into polar coordinate from Cartesian coordinate where we substitute x equal to r cos theta, v equal to r sin theta, dy dx or dx dy both I can replace by r into dr into d theta. So, from this 2 we can easily see x square plus y square is equal to r square. So, these things we are going to use when we convert the Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate. Now, step 3 we have to write the equations. What are all the equations given in the limit? So, outer integral is dx. So, x limit is 0 to 2a and y limit is 0 to this curve. So, x equal to 0, x equal to 2a. Then, y equal to 0. Now, the last one is y is equal to square root of 2ax minus x square. You should not write this as usual. We have to simplify and then write the simplified version. Just I am putting in the table. But you have to write the simplified version which is helpful to draw the figure. So, y equal to square root of 2ax minus x square. Squaring on both sides will be get 2ax minus x square. Therefore, x square plus y square is equal to 2ax. 100% this is going to be a circle because the coefficient of x square and y square are same. So, it is going to be a circle. But we don't know what is my center and radius because it is not in the standard form. So, let us write this as x square minus 2ax plus y square equal to 0. Now, y square is clear. x square have some issues. You can see it looks like a square minus 2ab format. So, x square minus 2ax. I am just adding and subtracting a square plus y square equal to 0. Now, you can see I can club this. It is going to be x minus a whole square plus I will write this y square. I will take this minus a square to the other side. It is going to be plus a square. Now, you can see the center of the circle is going to be a comma 0 because we have x minus a here and then my radius is going to be a it come from here now i can easily draw the diagram and can find the region therefore the fourth equation is x minus a whole square plus y square is equal to a square whose center is a comma zero and radius is going to be a done. Now, let us go into the step 4 as usual diagrams. First, we draw x equal to 0 that is y axis. Next, y equal to 0. Then, the third line is x equal to 2a which is going to be parallel to y axis done. So, now you can see my x line starting from 0 ending at 2a. Therefore, my horizontal strip would be like this. It moves from left to right. So, this is the region I am going to cover. But when you go for y limit, y is starting from 0. So, that means I can go vertical strip like this. It should be above the line y equal to 0. Therefore, I can approximately understand this is my region. My first quadrant is going to be my region. So, now let us draw the circle. We know the circle is with center a comma 0. This is 2a comma 0 because of the line x equal to 2a. This is 0 comma 0. So, my a comma 0 would be here. And we can see both the distances a. Now, you can understand why I am telling this. This is my center and the radius is going to be a. I have to draw a circle using this point a comma 0. Now, it is crystal clear my region is going to be above y equal to 0. Just now we saw it is very clear we say x moves from 0 to 2a, y moves from 0. That means this two part is not in the given region. Only the upper half above y equal to 0. So, it is very easy to find the region. 
therefore the region covered in the limits are upper half of the circle hope you understand students yeah this is the region now we just saw the hold is here we are starting from here and we are moving to the circle i can make the strip anywhere because it, we are doing in polar coordinate i can do the strip like this it started 0, 0 it ends at the circle that's it students now we found the region and we make the strip the strip is starting at 0 and ending at the circle x minus a whole square plus y square equal to a square step 4 gets over next step 5 we have to find the limits see here it is starting at the line y equal to 0 and then the region is moving maximum up to the line x equal to 0 therefore it is covering 90 degree it's not going more than the first quadrant it is covering exactly 90 degree therefore my theta equal to 0 to theta equal to pi by 2 done now we have to find the r limit so from the step 2 we have x square plus y square equal to r square here is the starting point when i put x 0 and y 0 i am getting r is equal to 0 now the strip is ending here in the circle so now i have to take this x minus a whole square plus y square equal to a square this circle i have to transform to polar coordinate so from step 2 we have to substitute x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta and we have to simplify this equation convert into polar coordinates so let us see the simplification so i am substituting x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta i am getting this equation expanding this will be getting r square cos square theta plus a square minus 2a r cos theta plus r square sin square theta equal to a square i can club this r square cos square theta with r square sin square theta will be getting r square into sin square theta plus cos square theta we know that is obviously going to be 1 so plus a square minus 2a r cos theta is equal to a square now a square a square get cancel r square is equal to 2a r cos theta now i can cancel this r also finally i get r is equal to 2a into cos theta you can see the typed version so my upper limit for the r is 2a cos theta now let us write the r limit so we found at this end r equal to 0 and here r is equal to 2a cos theta done students step 5 gets over step 6 we are going to change into polar coordinates step 6 is we are going to change the variable we are going to write in terms of polar coordinates we know the conversion first let us write the given question so for dy dx i am going to write r into dr into d theta when we go for the double integral the outer integral is theta theta is 0 to pi by 2 inner integral is r value 0 to 2a cos theta x square plus y square from step 2 you can easily see it is r square so r square into r is r cube dr d theta so i have converted my cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate step 7 finally we have to evaluate and find the solution now we have to integrate this integration of r cube with respect to r is r power 4 by 4 my upper limit is 2a cos theta my lower limit is 0 then integral 0 to pi by 2 substituting the lower limit it is going to be 0 when i substitute the upper limit we will be getting 2a whole power 4 that is 16a power 4 cos power 4 theta d theta divided by 4 now i will take this a power 4 outside i can cancel this and i will get 4a power 4 so 4a power 4 integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power 4 theta d theta done next we have to integrate cos power 4 theta d theta if it is cos square or sin square i can easily use the corresponding formula but the power is little higher in our school we have learned this result integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power n theta d theta is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power n theta d theta now we have two cases my n is going to be even and n is going to be odd 
if you remember the formula then the problem is very simple students just i will display watch it carefully when n is even this is the formula and n is odd we can see the formula it is very tough to remember this so i will tell a simple thing let us take an example suppose you are considering integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power 4 theta d theta if it is even it start from pi by 2 if it is odd it start from 1 that's it so now see the power power 4 that is very easy you write 1 2 3 4 problem over students hope you understand suppose if the power is 8 it's very simple just number game even power so pi by 2 the highest value is 8 so we have the numbers up to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 then we make the fraction so this is going to be very easy instead of remembering from largest value to smallest value you can remember like this it start from pi by 2 it ends at the highest value done suppose if the power is odd if n is going to be odd then also it is very easy nothing to worry now you take the same example integral 0 to pi by 2 suppose you have cos power 5 theta d theta if the power is even pi by 2 will come if the power is odd i have to write one alone the first value 1 then we have to start writing the numbers so 2 3 4 5 just make the fraction multiply it the problem gets over i'll do one more example suppose if the power is 9 cos power 9 theta d theta i will write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so make the fraction and multiply it do you understand if it is even then that number should be end with the even number if it is 10 it have to end with 10 if it is 9 it have to end with 9 so that's why for odd case i am writing one alone for even case if it is going to be cos power 10 theta we write pi by 2 so i want 10 at the end so what i am doing i am writing pi by 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i am making the fractions so it is very easy to remember this students hope you understand now see our problem 4a power 4 into integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power 4 theta d theta so the power is even therefore my answer is going to be 4a power 4 since the power is even pi by 2 1 2 3 4 4 now 4 4 get cancel so the answer is 3 pi a power 4 2 into 2 4 therefore my final solution is i is equal to 3 pi a power 4 by 4 hope you understand such a tough problem we convert into polar coordinates and we solved in a very simple way thank you for watching we hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more and keep up the great work subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye bye